are we really Nicolas Cage in this shit? John Travolta? Oh my gosh! What up, though? You can find these right below that video, by the way. Like, my, my What Up Doe merch, if you want to get you, like, a little sweatshirt or something. It's actually getting warmer, so I should probably make t-shirts at this point. But, you know, everyone loves a little hoodie. Everyone loves a little, you know? Everyone loves a little hoodie all year round. So, like, go check them out in the box. Y'all good? Anyway, what up, doll? Welcome to Martha is Dead. Now, this is a game that's been sitting in my Steam wish list for quite some time. Like, it's been sitting there. I've been waiting for it to come out. And I think it came out uh at the end of february this year and we're just gonna get into it you know so make sure you follow me on instagram twitter twitch don't forget to subscribe to the channel become a life of the day and don't forget to put some life into that like i know y'all haven't watched the video yet but put some life into that like you know help with the algorithm help you know help people see the videos and stuff you know what i'm saying like sh shut up Let's get this started. The story of Martha's Dead and its featured characters are a work of fiction. The game contains potentially uncomfortable scenes and covers topics that may Start distress it. some players. All right. This is y'all warning. So if y'all get triggered easily or some about things that are sensitive to you, it's not the game for y'all to watch. All right. The game is recommended for an adult audience and carries the appropriate age rating. As an adult narrative drama, the game uses artistic interpretations that can be visually unsettling and may cause discomfort. All right, that's y'all second warning. Yeah, all right, you've been warned. It explores the complexities of the human mind, psychological trauma, and self-harm. Mm. The game is not recommended for players who may find depictions of mature scenes containing blood, dismemberment, disfigurement of human bodies, and self-harm disturbing. All right, y'all heard it. Y'all heard it from the devs good on the devs for putting that out there as well y'all heard it from the devs the devs have said it i'm trying to get my controller to work it will not work okay that's why y'all saw that a just now because like my like it literally was just like nah you good you can use this mouse so y'all y'all might hear clicking in the microphone i'm sorry because the mic is very close to the mouse let's not bring it like down here nah that's stupid that's stupid you about to do something stupid Hey, this looks good. Ciao. I'm Julia. Julia Kay. Okay. I'm glad you are here. Nobody has visited me in ages. It's been years now. All right. I'm about to left hand this. It's about to I be weird. I must tell you my story, but I don't know where to begin. There is so much that I should start from my childhood. That's Bodhi. memories of these times are vague. He likes to go upstairs. I only remember the summer of 1929 when they sent me off to stay with my nanny. Oh, dang, this is this is from back in the day day. All right. New chapter, The Legend, summer 1929. Nanny, will you tell me the story of the white lady? No, little sparrow, not tonight. A fog is coming, see? Yes, I know that when it's foggy, the lady kills young women. Hey, yo. But why is she so evil? You see, Julia, pain and suffering can make us do evil things, even if we're not actually bad. Just like soldiers have to kill other soldiers. You know what this is reminding me of? I like the lady I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much Did y'all see the haunting of Blind Manor? Oh dear. She still scares me a little The white lady that comes. Y'all know what I'm talking about if y'all seen it. And she could kill me. Does she kill those who love her? Of course not. That makes me feel better because I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Your sister is with your mother, so do not worry. Do you miss them? No. I mean, yes, I miss Martha a little, but I love spending time with you. Now, go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Mm. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful. Yes, very much so. Then she'll be beautiful in my dreams. And will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Listen, Annie. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman, could you tell me her story? Even if it's foggy outside. Please. Oh, please. Then I'll sleep. I promise. My children don't know what oh, they're asking for. Right. You always get your own way. Bro. Kids. 
Kids. I loved Nanny and I loved that story. Every time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night I would ask her to tell me about it, even though it scared me. Y'all meant to this, like even that's not being quiet. I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. Right, 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 right. Hey, yo, the white. Oh! According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. Oh. And she's in a she lake. She's expecting a lover's stroll by the lake, gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. I am. This is eerily similar. So much hope and desire, but death, not love, was awaiting her. Uh, say something. Oh, the poor dear. That's not fair. Life isn't fair, Poppet. But that's Wait, the way it is. Do our choices matter? We must learn to deal with it. Okay, I'll try. But it makes me so mad. Keep on reading, Nanny. I'm left hand in this, so I can try to keep the mouse further away from the mic. In it's despair, weird. The man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. Yo, men do. It was happening. So he was hanged on the small island. In the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. That's madness. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, look at that, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. She grieves eternally for the loss of the man she loved. She grieves for the loss of him? He's the one that killed her? That's crazy. When fog arises, the white lady is known to leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods, looking for her long lost love in vain. Within the fog of dawn, hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance. That's correct. Um. I'm a little scared of this story. Even though I like the lady. Should I stop reading, my little sparrow? No, no, no. No, Nanny. Daddy always tells me that fear must be faced. Go ahead. All right, I'm not okay, gonna. Okay, honey. I'm not gonna say anything next time because I feel like she'll stop reading the story if I say something again. So I'm not gonna say anything. Every time the sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul, she takes the life of a young woman by slaying such a life in its youth. Even just for an instant, the lady feels free from the burden of her pain. Yo, what? Oh, okay, she's done. That was the end of the story. Good night, Nanny. Good night, my love. Yo, this game is immersive like i'm I already in it three years with the nanny but when i came home i quickly forgot how to be happy my memories do not return until 15 years later in 1944 oh. when i stayed in that house not I a good year setting not a good up year cameras in the woods by the lake my father created a device that attached to the cameras it would make them take pictures at set intervals i was trying to photograph animals or whatever else was in that damned place. Right. You got pictures of something else though, didn't you? Oh, okay, we out here. Okay. Oh. Is this just like a, a click style game? Do I ever move? Reel off the film. Okay. Open the camera. Uh huh. Remove the old roll of film. Now what? All right, we got to put a new roll in there. All right. Put the new film in. 
Yo, this is really involved. I don't know how y'all feel about this. Do y'all like this? Close the camera. Oh, you had to click both buttons? Okay, I like that. Load the film. I never had to click both mouse, but mouse buttons before. Activate the timer. Wow. That's dope. Almost ready. Now to bring the image into focus. What you want me to do? There's something floating on the surface of the water. If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. Uh-huh. Oh, look. It's a person. That's a person. What? Is that a person? I must help them. Okay. Are we... Oh, my goodness. It really... Oh. So she just moves on her own. All we all we do is point. I was horrified at the idea that someone might have drowned in my lake. The lake was my world, where I would spend entire days daydreaming. I'm feeling this game. I would lose myself in my thoughts, but that was a rude awakening. So terrible. <laughs> Oh, Martha, you about to go into that? Wait, is this Martha? Are we Martha right now? Oh, W. Okay, shit. See, this is terrible because my fucking everything is on this side. <laughs> this setup is really bad for me. I cannot wait until we're back in the city and we're not in Wales. W to swim. Okay. Because, man. She she did that. <gasps> hey, I would be terrified to be that close to I a potential dead body. I don't know why. I was wearing one of my dresses. I was scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. It was my sister. My twin, a part of me, dead. Impossible Yo. to comprehend. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do or to think. Hey, oh, is that Martha? I have to stay calm. Martha is not dead. It's not possible. Whoa! not true there's no need to worry everything is fine everything will be fine no your, your sister dead dead fam I have to stay calm Martha is not dead yo it's not possible Martha, February 26th, 1923. Is everything okay? Are you hurt? Who, who talking to me? What are you doing? Go, Eerie, run. My parents ran towards me. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life. It's Cause she thinks she's Martha. Became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me, oh. speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. <gasps> I didn't want the moment to fade. So I meekly nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. Oh. I would have to pretend to be Martha. Forever. Dang. That's tough. That's tough that her mom had a favorite. A very clear favorite. 
day after Martha's death, 10.30 p.m. Sign of the cross, get up. Do I do the sign of the cross or do I get up? Was Martha the religious one? Yeah, she has a cross in her hand. Their family has to be religious, so do the, the sign Lord of the cross. who gives life to the dying. Let your sacrifice of love be offered for Martha's soul. I don't know if my choices affect what I do. Hands, I also entrust my spirit. So that I may be reunited with her in perpetual light. To never suffer the desolation of purgatory. Please grant her eternal rest, O oh Lord, and may eternal light shine upon her. Mary, did you remember to light the candles in the hall? People will be here soon. Mummy always finds something for everyone to do. What? Okay. Hints can be dis disabled within the game settings. Okay. Okay, I, I think I might disable hints after this first gameplay. I just want to... I just want to kind of get the hang of it, I guess. July 17th, 1944. Our family is deeply saddened and is thinking of you during this extremely difficult time. Ernesto E. and family. July 17th, 1944. Our hearts are with you and we share your grief in the wake of the tragic loss of your dearest Julia. Monsignor oh. Atilio D. They all July think 17th, she's Martha. July 17th, 1944. Ministry of War. Director General for Conscripts and NCOs. We are grieving over your sudden loss and we send you our heartfelt condolences. The Lieutenant Colonel Rapporteur. Daddy must be devastated. He loves me. I messed up and now I have to watch him suffer my death. I can at least light the candles and let him find some comfort and sleep. Oh, dang. So my daddy actually liked me and my mom hated me. Daddy's oboe. We were preparing a really nice duet together. On the rare occasions he's at home, that is. Okay, let me light these candles in. I feel like this music is not appropriate. <laughs> but you know what? Who's to say what kind of music is appropriate for a funeral? Like, it doesn't always have to be sad and somber and morose or whatever. Like, you can have happy music at a funeral. Never a moment's peace. Even at a time like this. She can't sit still for a second. Yeah, let me go. Everything always has to be perfect with her. Let's go put these flowers down, man. Whatever. Put these flowers over here. This is crazy. Eric, Eric, wake up. Do you think it's appropriate to sleep here? Of all places. Hey, yeah. What? Hmm? Yes. I must have fallen asleep. What are they talking about? You can't stay here forever. Why don't you go to bed? No, no. I want to stay with my daughter. Your daughter? Your daughter? You have another daughter, you know. The one who's still alive. Remember? What yes. are you talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. What kind of comment is that? How can you? You should be thinking about Martha. Julia harmed Martha. You know that, right? What? And as if that were not enough, she has now also abandoned her. It's the same old story. Everything is always Julia's fault, isn't it? Her fault for Marta being deaf and for you being infertile. 
Do you think it's the right time for this? Whoa. Julia is dead, Irene. Dead. Someone killed her. Do you realize that? Of course I realize. I get it. Do you think I'm stupid? No one understands it better than me. She always brought problems. Only problems. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. Yes. You're crazy. I'm the crazy one? Me? Oh. Yo, what kind of mom is that to like have favoritism? They have done this to get at me, yes. Your death is all my fault. All I could ever do for you was hurt you, Julia. My poor, sweet, crazy girl. Aww. What will I do without you? What will life be like now? All the time I didn't spend with you. Oh, dang. But now I'm home. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. Oh, he can't accept it. No. I mean, I don't blame him for not being able to. We can't do anything together He just together lost his anymore. daughter and he thinks can he's we? Julia. Nothing. I miss you, Julia. I miss you. Yo, why does it all... Is it just me? While American bombings continue to devastate the peaceful towns within the Elsa Valley, we have heard some tragic news from the area of La Ramola. The young daughter of German Army General Erich K. was murdered near her home. What uh -oh. possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? He's German. This is what the Carabinieri, who immediately intervened, hoped to find out. Oh... Okay, so that makes sense why they think she was murdered. No, I was about to say, is it me Mother or just like seem have you... to suffer from the situation? Never mind the game. All she cared about was that my death was so painful for Martha. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. Mm. At the end of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died. And it was better for me too that people thought that. But the guilt began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. That it looks like someone's breathing when they're already dead. Oh, where did I go? Martha? Martha? Go to Martha? Okay. Martha has lost her... My, her... No. Okay. Martha... Has lost her. Hey, relax, whispers. Soul. Martha has lost her soul. Martha has lost her soul. You know, I've been to you know more funerals than I would like to have gone to in my life but like every time I would go up to the casket it just looks like they're breathing like I don't know if it was I don't know if it's just like my mind playing tricks on me I mean it has to be obviously but it's just such it's a crazy thing what the mind can do and what it can make you think or see I don't know has that happened ever happened to anyone else like, I'm curious. I'm curious. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I stole her identity? Okay. Yo, this game is crazy to me. Yo, that violin plucking is madness right now.
Whoa! Are we really doing this, fam? <gasps> hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Are we really? Are we really? Is this this is a face-off situation? Yo, are we really Nicholas Cage in this shit? John Travolta? Oh my gosh! Yo! This is nice! Oh! Yo, the devs were not playing when they said this shit. Hey, yo, that's the thumbnail. A thousand percent. Y'all, this. It was just a dream. A horrible dream. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Hey. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. This is Martha and me at the festival of the patron saint. It was only a few months ago and now. Wow. Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Can I capture Martha's soul? The room. Yo! Okay, we've been through three chapters already. Martha's clothes. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. What's this? This dress is only for special occasions. That's, that's, that's a, that's a shirt. I just, I need you to know that that's a shirt. Okay, what do we have here? I'm already dressed. Oh, I didn't get an even chance to even look in my own closet. Oh no, can I look? Can I still look in my closet? I'm already dressed. No! I wanted to wear my stuff. I always keep my trinket box locked. Can I, is that, is that to pick the lock? Can we? Oh gosh, if mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. It's me and Lapo. I want to see him as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death together. Who's Lapo? That's my collection that daddy made for me. Yo, I want it. Oh, why did I put on clothes so quickly? I thought I was going to be able to look at them first before actually, like, putting them on. This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. Yo, our yard is nice. Hey, yo, where we live? Everything I need is always in my bag. Oh, we got a key. I'm just going to list it in the bottom left section. Okay. Now try selecting the key on the map. The key to my trinket box. Okay, let's, let's open that. Let's open that. Let's see what that's talking about. Here is my diary. Let's just put that in our bag. Maybe we just keep that with us. July 12th, 1944. Thank God for voice acting. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life, a new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the Nanny fairy tale nice of the house. Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Nanny isn't here and that's a shame, but Martha is here with me. I also get to see Lapo more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. 
Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. Wow. July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. Mm. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Her drawings are cool Then though. I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. Mm. We feel right when we're together. Oh, there's a map? This is involved. Look at that. What is that in the woods? As soon as you zoom out, there's that. Okay. I'll be right there. I'm just going upstairs to call Martha down for breakfast. Oh shit. Fine, but I'm not sure we should let her see all day. What do you think? What what should I do? What did you say? Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. This is not the right key. I must get her key if I want to know what's inside her trinket box. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk, or I will be in serious trouble. Okay, never talk. Our beautiful home. In spite of everything, I prefer being here. Can I just, should I just leave? Okay, that's locked. All right, what are we doing here? What? How wonderful the snow is. Unfortunately, it doesn't snow often around here. I hope we're talking to ourselves and not out loud. Like, I hope we're having, like, brain thoughts. It's locked. Strange. Why did they lock my room? As a child, when I spent those short years with the nanny, this was my room. Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for Yulia. I will take it away soon. I, I promise. Oh. The sword makes me so sad. Seeing it there is as if I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. But let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. Yo, she is like bitter and cold. Yo, mommy is right though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. This is Italian. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. Chocolate, a privilege for few people in these times. Yeah, oh my god. I, I remember reading how, like, chocolate was, like, crazy hard to get back in those days. For Julia, to take more and more photos, Dad. Yeah, let me take that. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph the sparrow. There are so many of them out here. Bread, butter, jam, and coffee. Martha's typical breakfast. I prefer honey and milk, but I will have to adapt to her tastes. 
obviously. Okay, so we got a glass. There might be birds around the little wall in front of the house. I always put crumbs on it for them. All right, we're going to have to go to a little wall in front of the house and see if there's any birds. I don't even know where the front of the house is. Look at this. This is so pretty, bro. Okay. Okay, I need to go here. I need to try the camera there. I'm still trying to figure out who this is. Congratulations, you take your first photo. You can shoot as many photos as you want throughout the game, but remember that only a few will be critical to the story's progress. Soon you will learn how to develop photos you've taken. Excellent. I've taken the picture. Now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. Okay. So I got a... Daddy I've... recently became a general in the German army. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Now that Martha is gone, only this camera can fix my ideas and my memories. I can't allow myself to forget. This is not where... I hear a cat. One oh, of no. Daddy's many photos. Who knows who these other people are? We are so lucky. In these difficult times, pantries are empty and people are going hungry. But with a German general for a father, food is never scarce. All right, we're down here in the. Why are we got? Why are we looking at scissors? These could be of use to me. Could they? I wonder what for. Mummy's medicine. Will they do her any good? This fabric is not new to me, yet I do not think I've ever seen it in the house. Hmm. What we got here? Lorenzini haberdashery. Five meters of gray cotton fabric. Six meters of white linen fabric. Four meters of green satin. Delivered on June 5th, 1944. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of mummies, or could the nanny have left it here? Okay, that's a dark room. That's a... Whoop! I'm sorry. Oh, that's... Okay, that's... That's the wine. What it, why is the chair just facing here like that? These workbenches fascinate me. I would love to learn carpentry. This is where Nanny's husband made my dolls. The puppets I used to play with were made here. I never knew that when I was a child. They always told me that a fairy bought them. I didn't really believe them, but it was nice to think that. All right, let's go do this so the game would be quiet. I think I'm gonna turn off these hints. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn Daddy off the hint. set up his dark room here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the dark room when I want to. Okay. Timer must be in the green zone. Uh. Uh, in real life, immersion in the developer is followed by a wash, a stop bath, and the second wash. This, these additional steps have been skipped for the sake of simplicity. Okay. Here's your printed photo. You keep it in your Not album or scrap it. It seems that the camera works perfectly. Yeah. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Martha's frame. I feel like something's going to come out of that darkness to our right. Something just don't sit well with me. With that. With everything just being like hella dark. Camera is set up with the self-timer. I love how involved this is. I love how like they're also teaching you about photography as well. Smiling, sulking, neutral. 
sulking? Is that what? Is that what her, my sister wanted? Like that really weird face? Wait, what is? Is that the weird face my sister wanted? Okay, well, I have to take this to be developed now. Ooh. Yes, this is me. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But I never had the slightest doubt, and nor did Martha. It's strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. The soul in the photo. Okay. Yeah, this game... I was obsessively thinking about Martha and what had happened, but suddenly a thought took control. The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when, after awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? Had I been the one that hurt my sister? I had always envied her and now I had taken her identity. I experienced a suffocating pattern of thoughts. I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure. But deep down, I kept hoping they would confirm my fading memory. Of course the door is locked. If the keys aren't hanging on the lock as usual, then they will be in Daddy's study. We live in fear now. My parents are not going to let me go to the lake anymore after Martha's death. So this is the right time. I need to know. The self-doubt I feel is eating me up. The rolls. Alright. We're going to end this one here. Like, I feel like we should end this here. And, um, pick it up later. Just like, I need to know what y'all think in the comments below. So let me know in the comments below what y'all think about this game. Y'all feeling this game? Y'all not feeling this game? I think this game is dope. And I'm like, I'm really involved now. And I really want to know where this story goes. Or if my choices affect the story at all. Like, I feel like they do. But I need to read more about the game. I'm going to go back on Steam and read the game more. And see, and see if um, the game, if my choices affect what happens in the game. Because I love games like that. Because you just, you never know what the outcome's going to be. The outcomes can be different to, based on your choices. So, uh, let me know if y'all are enjoying this. Put some life to that like for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Become a lifer today. And I'll see y'all in the next gameplay. Bye-bye.